Good morning, everyone. Got a treat for you today. Uh, we're gonna do some stinging nettles. So I'm gonna talk for just a few minutes while you're looking at these beautiful nettles, and I've got the red-winged birds that are pretty mad at me right now. <laughs> you can hear them. Oh yeah. They don't like me over here because they they nest in the ground. So they have nests, and they think that I'm invading their nest. So we'll do this pretty quickly. I'm near my pond, near my home, and I have a lot of nettles out here. So stinging nettles, there's literally four different types of nettles, so they say, but then there's the dead nettles, which doesn't, that only comes around. It's an annual, not a perennial, and I haven't seen any, um, so that's not one that I usually use, but the two that I have known in my lifetime is the stinging nettle and the wood nettles, and wood nettles are they're cool. I like the taste of them. They're very tender. Um, they do have stinging in them, but once you cook your nettles, the stinging is gone. Once you dry them, the stinging is gone. Once you make a tea out of them, the stinging is gone. I have to keep my eyes on these red-winged birds because they will come down at you. So if you look at them, they'll, they'll fly away. That's kind of the way it works. So uh, the nettles that I know of as the common nettles, Yurtica, Dioca, uh, the small nettles, which is the urines, they're all pretty much urines. Uh, the tree nettle, which is the wood nettle I just talked about, and the uh, Yurtica, which is the Thunber Gianna, which I'm not quite familiar with that one. So the nettles pretty much are antiviral, antibacterial. They raise quercetin levels, so it helps with allergies and hay fever. And I tell everybody that has allergies to drink nettles tea. I make a great nettles tea. I'll probably do a small little video on the nettles tea that I do make. Um, this also helps um, with hay fever, stimulates the T cells, and it helps with autoimmune. So people that have celiac, lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, the vitamins, it has uh, vitamin A, vitamin B, uh, which is the niacin B, vitamin C and K, High in calcium and iron, that's, I drink nettle tea all summer long. Uh, magnesium, phosphorus, zinc, high in silica, helps with your hair, your nails, your skin. I used to rinse my hair with nettle tea like in the morning and just leave it in and then dry my hair. Um, high in potassium, it's a natural sodium, which we all know we shouldn't be putting salt on our food. We should be getting salt from our spinach, from our organic sources, which is Celery especially is one of the most saltiest. Yeah, you stay over there and I'll stay over here. <laughs> um, I'm invading their habitat, so they're not very happy right now. Um, high in uh, copper, chromium, all the essential amino acids, which is huge. Um, beta carotene, lutein. Nettles has the highest source of protein from wild plants. It has like 25, 26% protein, more nutrients than kale. Who, who would have thought of that? You think nettles should have been our Vermont vegetable, but instead they used um, our beautiful fiddleheads. So people are now running out grabbing fiddleheads and sooner or later we're not gonna have any. So the, um, the nettles, if you have trouble with urinating, drink a cup of nettles tea. It will definitely get things working in the right direction. Um, it's been used for years for gout. People used to slap their wrists and their bodily um, pains with the stinging because there's a there's an acid type of chemical in the, the needle-like hairs. And you can see them on here, these little hairs. And so I can touch them. They don't seem to really bother me. But if I get aggressive and grab them, you know, they're gonna, they're gonna get you. These are in a smaller stage anyways. They don't seem to bother me that much. Um, so it's definitely considered a superfood. Don't underestimate this beautiful um, wild edible, which I'm gonna take in and do a video. Oh, see, I can feel it in my finger now. I just touched it. I get a little bit of a thing. Um, usually you can find plantain or forget-me-not, um, right? There's usually a remedy right next to it that you can rub on. It'll take the sting out and 
plantain is everywhere so you could do the same thing you would with any sting with plantain is chew it up put it on your saliva acts as a carrier you could leave it on it'll pull out the sting um, I've, I've talked about plantain before so the uses are you can use it in soups stir fries teas extracts and you also can make cordage and I may do a video on this too the cordage from these guys um, from the stalks uh, you would take you would pull all of these I've watched some cool videos on people doing cordages and making string rope um, what is the other one uh, thread it's really neat there's like so oh, just cut me again I do have gloves but I just wanted to show you some of the uh, hairs I, I get my baskets here so I'm gonna um, be picking some here and showing you in a minute so um, about, I don't remember where, but you could look it up too. They made linen out of nettles, and I've watched some really cool stuff that they made out of the uh, um, nettles uh, cordage, and also fire starter. You, the inner pith can also be used, same as um, the inner pith of uh, cattails can be used as a cord, uh, a cord yeah, not cordage, but used as a fire starter. You could just dry it, and it. It, you know also this here you can um, take it and when it's dried and they have this special type of brush and it makes it into this uh, cotton it it's like hemp like a hemp cotton it's the coolest stuff ever uh, they had the finest linens were made um, sheets were made from nettles because they grew so much I mean these are perennial they'll come back every year the roots are medicinal uh, the roots are used in soups and stews and stir fries also uh, the seeds you can sprinkle to see them I'll show you the seeds in a minute and the seeds you can use like one teaspoon a day provides you uh, with like all you would need for the day like your protein um, it can lower the serum create creatinine levels it reduces the uh, chronic renal failure which is huge people have asked me if you had one herb to get or one herb that you can have what would it be and I said stinging nettles because it is definitely the most abundant and the most superfood any farmer will pay you to come take that off of their property because it's so invasive but it's invasive for a good reason um, yeah, that's all I wanted to really talk about. <laughs> it's a lot, actually. So, um, remember, nettles is a super food. You just have to be a little careful when you're picking it. Um, wear gloves, you know, and long sleeves. And we'll pick a couple here and just get here and show you. I'm going to come back out in a little bit here and start um, harvesting these. But... Can you see the hairs? Probably not in here, but the little stinging hairs are everywhere. You can see it on the leaves. Yeah, I'll get one and I'll show you one that has seeds. You guys are getting really mad at me. That's all right, they'll get over it. No, I'm not hurting them. I don't think they think I'm a threat. So here's some with the seeds forming and I've done some videos on the seeds last year year I believe or maybe just pictures so here are the beautiful seeds my sisters would love to take pictures of these guys those seeds right there are so nutritious and very valuable I make extracts with the seeds like when these I don't get all of these here there's a whole area here let me show you I got my beautiful tripod see this whole area is all Beautiful nettles. It's right near my pond. Beautiful nettles. All this area right here, right near my greenhouse. Across from my greenhouse. This is the area where my greenhouse is. So it's right here. There's a bunch of nettles. So, yeah. That is where I'm at. In the pond <laughs> so I'm gonna be harvesting a whole bunch of these guys today and what I do is I'll gather like a handful I'd say maybe this is about four five plants at a time 
and I'll cut them all the way down to the base of the ground and then new growth will come but I'll pick them and I'll uh, tie a rubber band or you could just use the stem itself and tie the stem around it because remember it acts like a string and a cordage and just hang them up I have in my garage I have these wires hanging up that I just put them in there and let them dry. If I find they're taking too long to dry, then I will put them in my, I'll cut them up a little more and put them in my dehydrator on just air and they'll dry within like 24 hours they're dried. So they'll dry pretty quickly. All right, so I'm gonna do another video. I'm gonna take some of these in and we're gonna cook them and we're gonna do a stir fry. And I'm gonna show you how beautiful they look as they're um, cooked up. So for now, we're gonna, jump off of here before I get attacked by some of these red-winged birds um, and we'll uh, see you in the kitchen. Peace!